zombie on the ship. The thunderous lightning in the sky was not taking the name of stopping, and the storm was raging in the sea below, in which a ship was tossing between the waves. On the upper deck of the ship, a big box was tied with a chain, as if there was some treasure in it, and there was a circle of guards with rifles around it, as if they were protecting that box without blinking their eyes. Now we are just a mile away. Keep moving forward. We will leave it in that depth of the sea. That will never come back again. The scientist had said this much, that a loud sound resounded, on hearing which everyone on the ship shivered. The scientist started sweating, which was clearly visible, even in the rainwater. When he looked through binoculars, his steps faltered, because he was surrounded by pirate ships from all sides, who reached near their ship in no time. And hundreds of robbers from all the ships came on their ship. The robbers surrounded them in such a way that the rifle-wielding guard also knelt down. And only then, the leader of the robbers came forward. Treasure! Ha ha ha! You are taking the treasure! I thought that now, no ship will pass through here. But you all have come here. So now this treasure is mine. Now let's open this box quietly. No, we cannot open it. Otherwise everything will be destroyed. Will you open? Or one by one I will open all here. Leave it. I will do it. Saying this, the robber went ahead and cut all the chains with his axe, then moved towards the door. Why weren't you opening the door? And what happened to your hand? Got my finger in the glass slide. Don't take tension. It is nothing. Stay away from such carelessness. Inside the lab, James. And I am warning you for the last time. Never come to this room of the lab in my absence. We'll take care in future, sir. What happened? Why are you trembling? And this sweat? Everything is fine. As soon as the scientist said this, James screamed. Soaked in sweat, he started trembling even more rapidly. His eyes started turning red, and marks of wounds started emerging on his body. Seeing James's changing behavior, the scientist understood what is going to happen next. So first he retreated from there, and then picked up an injection kept there, and stuck it in James's neck, due to which he started rolling on the same ground. After that, the scientist looked at the slide kept on the microscope, which had James's blood on it, and on seeing it, the ground slipped under his feet. The scientist immediately ran to the inner room. There he saw that, the rat which was his research object was dead. The same rat on which the scientist was doing research, whether due to some medicine a human being can turn into a zombie or not. The rat was lying dead and there was blood on its face. So its mean was clear that James's hand was not cut in a glass slide, but it was cut by a rat because of which he is turning into a zombie. Scientists checked the CCTV and found that James was trying to play with the mouse when the mouse bite him. That's why I used to say, I don't want any kid with me. Now this one kid can ruin the whole town. I'll have to think something. As soon as he said this, the scientist turned back. James was standing in front of him. He immediately took out the injection from his throat and then started looking at his hands, on which the marks of wounds started forming on their own. James was scared to see his wounds, as if he didn't know what all is happening with him. As soon as he looked at the scientist, he took a step back in panic. Meanwhile, James' hand wound was increasing even more rapidly. Then the scientist told him, James, get on your knees. Sir, what is happening with me? And what have you injected in me? Sir, tell me, will anything happen to me? 
Sir, what will happen to my mother? If something happens to me, she has no one in this world except me. James, you should not be in this room. You have ridden your death in your destiny by coming here. What do you mean, sir? You will kill me. After this word <laughs> came out of James's mouth, his body language started changing even more. His body started changing even more rapidly, with wounds emerging from place to place. Now the bones of his body were also stiff. That's when the scientist made him sit on a chair and cleverly handcuffed his hand. Sir! Sir! Why did you tie my hand? Please treat me! I do not want to die! But you have to die, James. If you leave, this whole city will be ruined. If you kill me, then what will happen to my mother, sir? Who will take care of her? Now, I will not let the whole city die for your mother. That old woman will also live, but you will have to die. Sir! As soon as James screamed, the whole lab was shaken. The scientist himself also became bad due to fear. James's anger was turning him into a zombie even faster, which was going to be too much for the scientist to control after some time. So he immediately called his man. All hard work is going to be in vain. And if this boy comes out, he will engulf the whole city like a virus. Cool down, scientist. We didn't create this zombie virus to destroy our city. Rather, it has to be rich by creating havoc in the whole world. You just keep him under control for a while. Our people are reaching. Seeing James, the scientist's eyes were clearly showing death. But his hands were chained, so the scientist was feeling a little safe. But as soon as James completely turned into a zombie, the scientist picked up the rod kept nearby, because he was pulling his hand from the handcuffs as if he would break the handcuffs or else his hand. And in the end, James lost his hand for freedom and then went towards the scientist before that four people came inside from outside. Two had rifle in hand and two had iron barbed net in hand, in which they trapped James and dragged him away. Hurry up, and tie this chain carefully. Don't let the doors open. Once we will bury it in the middle of the sea, then the tension will end forever. On the upper deck of the ship, they were tying the box, in which James was locked as a zombie. There was also a sound of screaming from inside, but no one was bothered by his voice, because everyone went out to bury him in the womb of the sea. But the incident of a robber in the middle of the sea changed everything. The pirates thought that the scientist was carrying some treasure. That's why, even after repeated refusal, he opened the door of that box, inside which death was sitting ready to embrace him. As soon as the door opened, James, who had turned into a zombie, first attacked the pirate and soon many other people as well. After which, all the injured people started turning into zombies. Fast in the midst of the storm, heavy ammunition was also rained on this ship, but the result was not going to stop. The scientist standing at the viewpoint was watching the scene of this devastation. At this time, his situation had become like a well in front and a ditch behind because if he had come down, he would have been hit by zombies, and if he had stayed up, he would have died, because the ship was about to sink. As soon as the scientist was about to get down to jump into the sea, James was standing in front of him, in his zombie form, which happened due to the greed of the scientist and above all. He said wrong things about James's mother as well. In such a situation, how could James leave him? Seeing James coming near him, the scientist started pleading. James, son, I am your teacher. I have taught you a lot. Please leave me. Let me go. The scientist was pleading, but James didn't care about his words. He grabbed the throat of the scientist with his teeth. And with this, the whole ship sank. 
and all the people who became zombies were buried in the womb of the same sea. After that, zombies did not spread like a virus, but it is said even today, when someone passes that way at night, they turn into zombies as soon as the black shadow of the sea falls, just like what happened with Robert, and the entire Royal Dutchman had to bear the brunt of it.